Well, hello, folks. My name is Dan Mitchell with IGS Entertainment, and I am sitting at the Epicenter in Uptown Charlotte, specifically at Enzo, the exact location of our free pour, which is happening on June 1st from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. I'm sitting here with Luke Vagin uh, from Moet Hennessy, um, where he's going to give us a little bit of knowledge for those of us who have no idea what Hennessy is or its background, so you can be fully acclimated to when you purchase your ticket on Eventbrite for the free pour on June 1st. Um, so Luke, so I just want to start off with our viewers, um, just in case someone has never really heard of Hennessy. Um, so starting off with this question, what exactly is Hennessy and can you give us like a brief history behind it? Sure. So basically, Hennessy is a cognac. Cognac is a region in France and is the only region that cognac can be made in. It is a spirit distilled from wine. Uni Blanc is a grape grown in the cognac region, which is fermented into a wine, which is then twice distilled to create the eau de vie. These eau de vie, which means water of life, are the different elements that are blended together to create a cognac blend. For example, we have the VSOP here in front of us that will have, on average, about 60 eau de vies that are blended together to create this product. They are going for consistency, they have a large age cellar that can, they can pull from, take little pieces here and there, and it all adds up to being a consistent product, and that's what you have in the VSOP. So when it comes to Hennessy, it has the reputation of being solely a nighttime nightclub spirit. Um, I have heard that that is not true. So I guess what I'm asking you is, so what are some cocktails that I mean, like you would recommend somebody that's first getting into the Hennessy scene? And is this a drink that you can drink, you know, just during the day? Sure. So obviously it's always a great day if you're drinking Hennessy, no matter what time it is. But I think one of the attributes that Cognac and Hennessy specifically have are its mixability. You can make great cocktails out of Hennessy. We're enjoying a few ourselves, and I think that some of the ones that really do well are all the classic cocktails, be it a Manhattan, a Sidecar, a Mint Julep. All of these cocktails were originally created using cognac. And around the time of Prohibition, when imported alcohol was kind of banned, things may have shifted into other spirits, be it bourbon, whiskey, whatever. But it is an excellent mixing cocktail, and I think if you took your favorite drink and you threw Hennessy in as the spirit, then you'd enjoy the drink that much more. The PSOP. This is the cocktail that's actually being featured for our free pour uh, that's happening on June 1st right over here at Enzo. And um, just for our viewers that don't know the first thing about VSOP, what can you tell them? Sure. So VSOP stands for Very Superior Old Pale. It came into existence in 1817 when the future King George IV of Great Britain asked for some of that very superior old pale that he had tasted while traveling through the Cognac region. It also, you'll see, has the word privilege on it. They're the same brand. You'll get hear people talking about Hennessy Privilege versus Hennessy BSOP. It is the same label, and essentially, it's label privilege because you are privileged to have the chance to consume it. It does a great job of making any classic cocktails, and I think that it is a great place to start if you're getting into the Hennessy realm. There are a few different marks within the category, going from VS, which stands for very special. There's black, VSOP, XO, which stands for extra old, and moving on up in some of the more prestigious range, the Parody and the Parody Imperial. So they have an excellent lineup of different styles of cognac, and as I said, I think VSOP is one of the best for blending and cocktails, and I encourage you guys to come out and try one on, on June 1st. <laughs> there you go, he's got it. I'm more here about the, the spirits. He's got the dates. And this is first on. episode of IGS TV. Luke was nice enough to bring over a little parody Imperial for us to try. Very so, excited. Fancy little box for a very special bottle. This is the Parody Imperial. And so you're saying it's about $3,200? It's going to cost you about $3,200. And as I was saying about the Eau de V, essentially 10 out of 10,000 Eau de Vs sampled go into the making of this bottle. So it is a very, very hard to find bottle. And it is an awesome experience when it comes to trying what cognac has to offer. So there's a little dash for you. Wow. Throw a little glass in glass for myself. And just a brief disclosure, uh, this will not be available for the free pour on June 1st. No, but it is always <laughs> great to know what is out there and what you can try. Absolutely. So cheers. Thank cheers you so much for having me. And this is the Hennessy Parody Imperial. Wow. Uh, delicious, right? You taste all $3,200 of that. I think it's worth every penny of yeah. it. 
A little background, basically, Paradis is the name of the cellar where they store their aged eau de vies. Some of them are up to, since the 1860s that they're storing back there. And they kind of pick and choose through those to create a blend like this. So this is the prestigious, most prestigious cognac available. And we'd love you to take a chance and see if you can try it if you ever run into it in the future. Thank yeah. you very much. And hey, well, once again, uh, thank you for viewing. I really hope that everybody learned a little bit about cognac and Hennessy more specifically. Thank you, Luke, for coming on out. So welcome. And remember, y'all, the free pour is going to be happening from 10 to 11 p.m. on June 1st at Enzel. Um, and remember, this is IGS TV, and I'm Dan Mitchell, and we're signing off. Thank you so much.